Steelers did not win. Hey, so what's hey. going on? Nothing to win today. Here, yeah. I'm ready to rock and roll. Not a very good test. weekend. And no, really no. for starters, the really, really awesome Pirates flew a so really to uh, series to the you. Cubs. That was I'm, great. Uh, hanging out uh, here. The Steelers lost to the Broncos. And it's just a tough way to start the week. Don't let that get you down. You still have your fantasy stuff, don't you? Oh, yeah. Let's Thank you. Let's check that out. All right. I hear you talk about it all the time, so yeah. hopefully that'll brighten up your Monday. Yeah, I, know, I bet I did pretty good. I mean, I have Tom Brady. It I mean, was a rough game. If you have him, you're oh, going to yeah. do well. And yeah. I'm, I'm playing fantasy football. I've got the Steelers D, so you can pretty much no, uh, determine how that uh, turned out for me last night. Well, we have to do the announcements. Thank you, Teresa. Well, I just got Turn that frown upside down. I'm uh, pretty excited about them, but I'd rock a new do for this school year. <laughs> Long season. It's long season. Yes. Okay. But good morning to everybody. I am Mrs. Potts. I'm a math teacher and 10th grade mentor here at Achievement House. I am Mr. Rickard. I am the 8th grade and 12th grade social studies teacher. Let's kick off the announcements with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, welcome to week two. We hope that you all had a fantastic weekend. So why don't we kick it off with what happened in the sports world. Let's do that, shall we? All right, well, if you're a Pittsburgh fan out in the West, it was a really tough weekend. Let's start it off with baseball. The Pirates, uh, three games down to the Cubs, blew the series. So not looking good. Buckos just looking for a win to hopefully make the playoffs first time in I think it's either 19 or 20 years. Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah, so um, pretty much almost my entire lifespan, we're still waiting for at least a winning season. So let's get on that. In the football world, the NFL kicked off its big weekend. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers traveled out to Denver where they also lost. That's right. So they were marching down for a fourth quarter comeback against the uh, Denver Peyton Man or I'm sorry, the Denver Broncos and uh, Ben threw a uh, pick six to pretty much steal the game for the Broncos. So thank you, Ben. <laughs> In other news, on the other side of the state, the Eagles did look strong at the end of the game against the Browns, Michael Vick. He went 29-56 uh, of 56 for 317 yards and two TDs and sealed the deal against my fantasy team this week. So thank you, Michael Vick and Philadelphia. You guys are one to know, so that's looking good, so great job. Also, the Phillies looking to come back strong and hopefully make a postseason run, so good luck to the Phils. It's a wonderful update. Thank you so much. Yeah. But in school news, we have something huge coming up this week. Huge. Huge? Are we all listening? Tell them about it. MAPS testing. Ooh, sounds big. Tell it them about it. It is going to start taking place today in each of you, either your language arts or your English class. It is so extremely important that you go to your live class. Yes. You can't watch the recording, you have to go, you have to be there, and you have to take the assessment mm -hmm. while you're in class. Make sure that you log in and go to that class, and if you don't take it, you better be expecting a phone call from your teacher, yeah. and they're going to pull you into a classroom and have you take it. Absolutely. So if you have any questions, contact your English teacher or your mentor, mm -hmm. and yes, they are that important. Yes, we need you guys to be on the ball to take these tests. Yes. So make sure you are in your classes. All right, now a lot of students have been asking about clubs. Yep. Clubs is a really successful thing here at Achievement House, and we love to facilitate the clubs. Um, you can actually fill out a form on the main page, and what it will ask is for your top three clubs. So it'll have a list of all the different clubs that you can participate in. And uh, if you go from there, then we will be able to send out some information to you next month. So we want to be able to get one full month under our wings so we get comfortable in the new system, making sure you guys are coming to class, and then we'll roll out clubs so you guys have a little bit more to look forward to. So get this turned in, guys. Yeah. Turn on the main page, like Mr. Rickard said. Great things are coming right around the corner. Yeah. In other news, BBIM, which is our instant messaging system, is currently undergoing service, which will return soon. There have been a lot of concern regarding the ability to use it, but please disregard any updates in the program that inquires about it. 
Our awesome tech team is working really, really hard on it to get it back up and running as soon as possible. As always, if you have any questions or you have any concerns and you feel that you need to contact our help, department, or help desk, please make sure to call 1-855-485-8141. Well, it sounds like all the news for Monday and Tuesday. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. See you on Wednesday. See ya.